Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and April here, and we're adding on to the prep that we did in the last video of really deepening the femur in the hip socket and having that deep system activation or calling upon before we start to go into the clamming exercise, right? And that's part of like giving the client a sense of readiness and, and prep before they move. And we're gonna add the smart spine into this. And the smart spine is really nice because it creates an oppositional pull. And it's also bringing the fascial sleeve of the thigh into internal rotation as they're externally rotating the thigh bone. So um, it's giving the message of extension. And again, for a lot of us, we default into external rotation, um, which overworks our external rotators in our hips overworks the psoas all the way to T12. And then if this is wound really tight, then the rest of the leg foot down the line really can't communicate, um, as well as up through the spine and the crown of the head. So this is a really nice reminder to all these structures in this area of how they're supposed to give and take and pulsate in the right manner. So we have the um, smart spine right at her upper thigh. So the front smart spine is going to act as, it's going to wrap like, uh, like her psoas would. And then my fingers are going to be touching her lumbar spine. And then the back handle, my palm is going to face me. And I'm going to be lifting the back of her thigh up towards the ceiling, especially when she lifts the knee. So I'm really encouraging the fascial sleeve of the thigh into internal rotation as she externally rotates the bone. So she gets that yummy opposition. So I want her to connect into that same feeling of the femur deep in the hip socket finding her deep system of her transverse abdominis and her multifidus, a little bit of lightness on the bottom waist, and then keeping the spine pelvis in place. Heels stay together, and she's going to lift her knee, and she can use an inhale and an exhale. Good, and you can lift the knee a little tiny bit more. Good, and that just puts the tissue on slack so that I can take it a little bit more up towards the ceiling. And then I keep it up towards the ceiling as she slowly lowers her knee down. And then as the knee finds the, its floor, then I just do a little massage down the IT band. Not really stretching it, but just hydrating it. And then we'll do that again. So pelvis, spine, stay in place and she'll start to lift the knee. Pelvis stays in place, good. Lift the knee a little bit more, good. And then I take the tissue, and then on the exhale, I keep lifting the tissue up towards the ceiling as she brings her knee down. And as the knee finds its floor, just brushing down that IT band with the warmth. Now this can also um, help to prep the client into parallel. So for example, when you're doing the four point clamming or the, the lengthening of the leg here in parallel, so those sequences. So let, let's look at one of those. So you start the same. On the inhale, she's gonna lift the knee. Pelvis stays in place. Good, and then I take the tissue. So now from here, she's gonna take the heel up so the heel is in line with the knee, right? And she already has that knowledge of internal rotation. I'm already helping her there. But now she's gonna connect the heel again. So she has to bring the bone back into external rotation, but I'm still lifting the tissue of the back of her thigh, and then she'll lower the knee down. This is a lot of work for the teacher. So you wanna be close to your client and you wanna make sure that the weight of their leg is in your upper back, not in your neck and not in your hands. 
That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.